Hello, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be showing you how to actually run an Alephium node plus actually get the no mining fees from pool mining so we can actually make more Alephium while we're mining. So the first part of this video is going to be how to set up the node and the second part is how to join the node to the miner so that you can start mining Alephium with zero pool fees. There is some ways to actually get zero miner fees but I'll go into that at the end of the video. Let's firstly set up the Alephium node. So first things you want to do is come over to the docs and alephium.org. I'll leave this all linked in the description and you want to come to the download application file. You want to click on GitHub release and it's going to take you to the GitHub release page and you want to download this top Alephium file, this Java file. So this version will be different depending on when you're watching this video, but for the most part, it's all going to be the same process. So once you've downloaded this, the file is going to look like this and it's going to be a Java file. So once you have this downloaded, we actually need to run the Alephium node through the command prompt on Windows. So all we have to do, as it says there in the terminal, we search command prompt. So you can search in CMD or you can just search in command prompt and we want to run as an administrator. So we click run as an administrator and then it's going to bring us to the command prompt window. From here, we actually want to type in CD and this is going to direct it to the file of the Alephium node. So to actually get the path for the file, we can right click on this Java file that we downloaded and then we click on properties and copy this location. Now we come over to here, we paste the location and click enter. This is going to take us to the user F downloads page and now we actually have to go back to the Alephium docs and copy this line. So it's Java and then it's pointing it to the Java file and the Alephium file that were actually downloaded. So we copy that from the side there, click on the command prompt and actually enter that in. Now all we have to do is replace these X's depending on whichever version you're using. So mine is 259, so we're replacing it to that. All we do now is actually click enter. So once we've clicked enter, it'll actually start up the node. Now for a lot of you new node runners, this is basically going to take a while to actually go through all the blocks on the system. So once you've entered that in, the node will actually start to run up. Now it's gonna have to sync with a bunch of things and you know connect into the Alephium docs and stuff like that. But the main thing that we're looking for is the height. So the node needs to sync fully. And as you can see down there in the bottom right, if we actually minimize this, it will say it here, target hash rate, but the height is there. So it's 975689, something like that. And that's pretty close to if we look on the Alephium Explorer, we can go here and we can look at the height of the last block. So if this corresponds to the height here or around it, it's mainly going to be synced. So, so that's what you need to look out for to see if it's synced. And you can just leave it overnight and it should sync up within a day. However, to actually check if it's fully synced, you want to come down here to the Alephium docs on the full node getting started again. And we want to click on to Swagger UI. So there's a link right here. We click on this. I don't know if you're supposed to click on protocol host and port, but that's what I do. And then all we have to do is scroll down and then we go on self click and we click execute. And it should show there that the node is synced. Normally, if it is not synced, it will say false instead of true by there. So that's how you can check. So Swagger UI is basically a way to control the node or get information around the node. So that's basically how you start running a node. That is the easiest part. And now we've got to move on to actually setting up the miner to mine into this node. And then we can actually get our wallet to mine with as well. So on the getting started terminal, we can go over to the mining tutorial solo mining guide. From here, it's going to run us through how to actually gain a miner wallet, how to assign the wallet to the miner. And then from there, we'll actually have to set up the batch file for our own miner. So as it says here, create your miner wallet. So what you want to do in Swagger UI is scroll up. As you can see there under wallet, create new wallet. And we want to click on this, it says modified value, but we want it with minor without passphrase. And then we can actually name our wallet. So we're going to give it the name E. 
and we can actually put in a password, whichever password we want. We're just going to leave it as my secret password. We click execute and that is actually going to make a seed phrase for us down here, which is a mnemonic phrase. And you can import this in when you're using the desktop wallet. So this is how you can actually see how much Alethium you've mined into a wallet is if you click on the desktop wallet, you can import this key phrase right here and it will show you how much you've actually mined. So you can also download this as a text file. If you just click download, it saves up there and it will save this for you. So make sure you don't lose this and you can import it onto any desktop wallet device. So now that we created a wallet with the name E, we want to actually get the list of the addresses for that wallet. So we go to wallet, wallet name, addresses, and click here. Then we click on the wallet name and we type in whatever we named it. So we named it E, we click execute, and it's going to give us a list of four addresses here. It's very important that you keep this open so the next part actually goes easier. So now that we've got our four addresses, we want to go back to the solo mining guide here. And it says right here, now that you've gotten your four miner addresses, you can assign your node so you can earn reward when it starts mining. This can be done by adding the following content in the file .elithium slash user .config under your home folder. So to find this, we go to the home folder. So it'll be windows, then it'll be in users, in F, and then it'll be Alephium. Right here, we have our user config file. So we double click this. Right now, it's going to be empty. So it's going to tell the node what miner addresses we're going to be mining to. So as it says here, you actually want to copy this line here and paste it in to the text here. Now, all these addresses are example addresses and we need to actually replace them with the four addresses in here. So we start with the first one. Remember, it has to be corresponding to the number. So this is number one. We paste that in. This is number two. Paste that in the second line right here. Number three is right here. Paste that in there. And finally, number four, copy and paste it in here. Now for this network external address, this is what we have to put in. We need to put in our IPv4 address. So if you don't know how to do this, you can come to command prompt again. We can run it as an administrator again. And all we have to do is type in ipconfig. We click enter and it's going to give us our IPv4 address. Right here it's blurred out, but we need to copy this and then we need to paste it over these four X numbers. So as you can see there, that's what we have. Then we actually need to change the port. So remove this nine and set it to 12. So these are the ports that we're going to be using, not the 9973, but the 12973. Now, once this is set up, you can simply click exit and save. To allow this to actually take place, now that we've done that, we actually need to restart the node. So we come here, we can exit, and then we can restart it back up by doing the same thing that we did earlier. We run as an administrator, we cd the path file like this, then we come back and we go to the getting started page again and copy this command line here. We paste it in there. Sorry, I'll bring it to the middle of the screen and we replace the numbers again. This is going to start the node and it's actually going to direct the node and the miner into the same addresses that we just input then. So what we're going to be using now is BZ miner to actually start mining into the node and then we're going to get paid out through those addresses that we just used. So to do that, we need to keep the node running full time to actually mine to it so we can keep that on. And now we actually want to go over to BZ Miner. Once you're on BZ Miner, you want to scroll down and download the latest version. We already have it here in our downloads folder. If we click through BZ Miner right here. So once we download the latest version, we actually can look for the lithium batch file. Now we right click, click on edit, and it's gonna pop up with a Windows Defender, click more info and click run anyway. So we could use any of these text files. However, they have actually left a solo mining file or at least text line that we can actually use down here. So we take out all of these because we don't need them, take them out, 
take out the pores and take out these two lines. So now all you need to do is actually go and find your address. So Swagger UI, thankfully we actually kept it open. So the only address that you actually need to use is this group zero address. This is the main address. You can put all four of them in. However, you only need to use the group zero address. So we copy that and paste it over the address here. And now we actually need to input our IVP4 address again in here. So what we're going to do is type that in and then we paste it in here. And that's pretty much it in terms of mining. You just click exit, save. And then when you want to start mining, you click on downloads, click into BZ miner window, click on the Alephium batch file and it should start mining. Now you can add overclocks and stuff like that. As I said, we're only eliminating the mining pool fees right now. You also have to pay a fee for BZ miner. However, there is one workaround, I believe, for solo mining with basically zero fees. So on this solo mining guide, there is a full GPU miner that you can use for NVIDIA. Now I have used this and I've tried it out. You click on the GitHub page. You don't want to build the miner yourself. You click on the pre-built miner at the bottom here. Once here, you want to download the Windows version, which is the CUDA miner windows.exe. Remember, this was made two years ago, so it's not going to be as good a miner as BZ miner or as LOL miner. It gets around half the hash rate, but there's absolutely zero fees on this miner. All you do once you've downloaded it, as you can see, we have it there. All you do is double click it and it will actually just connect to your node instantly. There's no setup for that. It will just connect to your node and it will start mining to that already. However, BZ miner, obviously we had to set up the batch file to mine into the node. So that's a way to get zero fees for the pool mining aspect and the miner program aspect. So that's basically the setup for mining lithium. Now I will go into how to set up the API key in a later video just because I haven't really fully fleshed out how to work that, but that video will be coming out later in the week. So that will be covering how to set up the API data and secure the actual node for yourselves. So if you guys did enjoy the video and you started mining, or if you have any problems, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try help you out. Remember, you can view your wallet addresses if you import from the mnemonic phrases that you've got. So the 24 characters, you can import that into your desktop wallet to view how well your miner is doing and see if you get any blocks. Make sure you like the video, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one.